Hello, in this video I will explain you what the first year in medicine is all about in Masaryk University. The different subjects that you have, the way of completion, the general tips on how to go through the year with minimal problems, which are very important, and I will make references to other videos that are made for specific subjects like anatomy and biophysics that you have exams in this year. So, the first thing we're going to talk about are the different subjects that you have in the first year. Uh, firstly, about anatomy, we have three different classes. It's composed of three classes. The lectures, the seminar, and dissection. The lecture and the seminar are throughout the whole semester, but dissection is only in the end. The lecture is not obligatory, and uh, it's a typical kind of lecture that you go there and you listen to the teacher explaining uh, some bone on some, on some organ, and uh, you can ask also your question in the end. Uh, you don't have to be there, you don't have to go there prepared, it's not extremely helpful for you, but you have to know a general idea of what you're going to talk about. You don't have to do it, it's good for you. The second thing I'm going to talk about is the seminar, anatomy seminar, which is through the whole semester, and is there where you can learn the most and you can take advantage of it a lot. The thing is, in the seminar, you go there and it's a teacher and you go through the bones together, and you, they can explain you stuff, you can, uh, you can be asked, you have some small tests which they don't count a lot, but it's important to have a knowledge. So what do you do? You have to be prepared for this test. You have to be prepared for the classes, for every class. It's not about the test, it's about the knowledge that you have to gain before you go there. And it's about the seminar. And then the anatomy dissection. Uh, anatomy dissection is a separate topic completely. Is you, you know, dissection is you go there, you open a body, and you have to locate nerves and arteries and muscles to name them to know their function. And I'm going to make a separate uh, video about it when the dissection approaches. This is about anatomy. So now we go to the next subject, which is biophysics. Biophysics has lectures and practicals. Okay, my opinion, uh, some lectures are not so in interesting or you cannot follow them but it's all about if you like to go to the lectures. Uh, the, the second thing and I, I don't want to touch the lectures more because it's about you, uh, it's a practical. The practicals are obligatory and the thing is that uh, um, you have to be prepared, you have to make a protocol before and if you make the protocol with your mind on what you're doing in the topic then it's gonna be, be, be good for you because you might be asked some questions about what are you gonna do. And you can, you can understand that if you don't know what you're going to do, then you might have a problem with the teacher. So that's about the, um, the, bio, uh, the biophysics. And now we go to biology. Biology has practicals and seminars which are obligatory. No lectures are obligatory. So uh, the practicals and seminars which are obligatory, the important things to mention here is that the, every three weeks or four weeks or two weeks, depends on when it is, you have a small test. Which is a problem because uh, many people fail the previous year in small tests and then you can go to the credit. And uh, wh what it needs is just to study for them hard from wherever you find. It's not, it's not such a difficult thing. In my year it was not a big thing. It became a big thing the last year. But it's not such a difficult thing if you study. And remember that because I don't have a bit of video of how to study, bi study biology. Uh, any of you who bought the big book about biology you're not gonna use it no one ever used it um, then we go to latin and Czech language to new language that you have about latin the practical as you understand they are obligatory in the seminars also and you have an exam in the second semester you have a credit in the first semester now what's important every some weeks and I, you can understand because you have many small tests you have some small tests in latin the important thing is Latin because it has many declensions, vocabulary, and if you have a contact as I had because I'm, I'm Greek or if you are not Spanish or Portuguese with Latin, then you might have a problem to, re to memorize all this vocabulary and learn all these different declensions. So the good thing, the thing about Latin is to keep a, a steady level of knowledge and study mainly for the test, for the small test. If you pass the small test, this will reduce the passing mark of the credit test that you have in the end of the semester. The same applies for Czech language, with the difference that in Czech language, it is four-year subjects, not one year like Latin. So imagine this material will be, first you won't pass the first year if you don't, if you don't know like a basic level of Czech. And secondly, this material that you don't know, learn in the first year will accumulate second, third, and you always have to know what you learned in the first year. You always have to study logative again. 
So it's better to have also like a steady level of knowledge in Czech and study may and mainly for the small test and the credit test. So this is in Czech language you have an exam in the second semester as well as Latin. The last subject we're going to talk about is first aid. First aid is the practice are obligatory and uh, they, you have an exam in the end of the semester. First aid, what I can say, like you can see, is the first contact you have with real medicine, like treating people. And you're gonna use it. I mean, like you in these six years you are in medicine, before you learn how to resuscitate properly in intensive care in the fifth year, you have to know how to do CPR because you might get a chance to do it. And then um, it's, it's, it's nice feeling to do resuscitation. Not so successful often, but it's nice, it's nice to do it. It's nice to get the knowledge from first aid. You will feel useful yourself when you are in a chance to practice what you learned. So we're going to the second part, general tips on how to go through the year with minimal problems. The first and the most important thing in Master University and first year is in medicine is punctuality. You have to be in the class on time. Sometimes you can be five minutes late, and, but this depends on the teacher if he's going to accept you or not. So the most important thing, even on exams, is to be on time. Because if you are not on time, then you might get an absent or you have to substitute. And if you are not able to substitute, then um, the, you might lose a class and you have to repeat in the end of the semester. But not every time works like that. So, okay, this is one thing, the punctuality. And the second thing is you must ask how many absences you can have in a class. Because this depends every year. But like I remember in my year of five years ago, I would have two absences in a... In a um, uh, in anatomy, but now maybe I have changed. So make sure you ask about how many absences you can have in each class and from the time how, you know, if you have been ill, you have to get some papers. But the most important thing when you're not sick is to be on time. That's the first thing. The second thing I'm going to talk about is balance. You know, like I believe, as uh, some of my friends I asked, they believe also, is you cannot ask studying 100% from the beginning and like you know, close the door behind you and you don't have friends, you don't have life, you don't have anything. You have to start with the balance of life and and as you go closer to the exam period, you increase the study hours. So you can have both in the beginning and then you increase the study hours. And this way you're not going to burn out in the first week. Because this, is, this can happen if you are studying all the time. So the thing is, slowly you increase the study hours. Okay. That's the second thing is the balance. Third is MIMSA. Okay, MIMSA, as you know, Mother International Medical Student Association, is an organization that is, is made by students. You, they already did organize, uh, the orientation week for you. I was part of it. And it's organized many events that will help you either to educate yourself, anatomy sessions, internal, internal med session, pathology session, whatever they organize. Uh, either doing the parties, they're doing sport events. So, uh, MIMS is, is good to follow. And the people that are working in MIMS right now, I know them personally, they, we will work before together. And they're really nice people and they help you every chance they have. Uh, with every, every problem. Uh, and so, we, we are a community and we should embrace what other members of the community do for us. That's the third thing. The fourth thing is a study body. It's how I name it. You need to find either one friend, either a group of friends that you really like are dedicated to medicine, you want to go through the university very well, to study together. Not only to study together, but discuss about things you studied. Where do you study that? What do you study from? And um, do you think I need to go so deep in this thing? If you get that and you can discuss medicine with someone, then you, it will make good for you and for your friends also. Because the level in each, spot, in each different topic is not the same, so you'll try to increase the level of uh, the, 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 your, your skills in one subject and your friend will get better in another one. But it's good to have a study body so you compare with someone and you also exchange information. So it's important in the first weeks or first months, let's say, to find someone that you can communicate well with and has the same dedication and the same interest in medicine as you. So you'll start together. The fifth thing you should do is to motivate yourself and passion of what and passion with what are you doing you know in the first year I understand and everyone understands that the subjects you do anatomy biophysics biology um, 
Czech, Latin, you know, except the first aid is everything, you know, very superficial in medicine. So you don't find so much interest. You say, you know, like the same thing is doing my cousin who is studying chemistry. So the thing is to find the passion. You know, you, when you read through a subject like biophysics, you see something like how MRI works. If you don't like it itself, if you don't make, make yourself like it, then you'll never get good at it or you never enjoy it. So you have to find what is interested you in each subject and you have to hug the subject to find it, to find it deep, to start liking it. Because if you don't like, you know, like it's, you're going to just waste your hours doing nothing. But if you, first, if you like it, you're going to learn it faster. The, the memory works in this way. Secondly, if you like it, you, you are going to enjoy the time that you are, you are spending learning it. So this one thing and the other one, every book has some like small letters with clinical notes. If you read through these clinical notes, then you make, it will make you like it more. Uh, the clinical notes, though, it applies the knowledge that you learn exactly on a clinical uh, case. So, for example, like hernias that you're going to learn in the first semester. Um, so, uh, something in, like about the, the nerves, uh, uh, the um, spinal nerves. All these clinical notes are very important for you, not only to understand how it works, but also to make you interested in that. And this is how you can find motivation in studying more. And the last thing is to challenge yourself. You know, this is a, this is a, a bit tricky thing to, to get, and it's difficult to get it. Um, is, um, it's like, if, you, if I study some time and I, I success of, uh, of what I, I'm studying for, then I get a, a feeling of happiness of what I did. I feel proud of myself. And I want, you know, to go through, I say, say, like, this happened to me in anatomy. I passed anatomy with a good grade. And then I said, oh, my God, now I studied well, I can do better. And the next one, I was studying a bit more. And I was getting better results, let's say. Uh, and this way, you can challenge yourself. Get the pride that you get when you pass an exam, the pride about yourself, the happiness. And then challenge, to do, as you go through the years, you will find something more difficult. And you challenge yourself. To, be, to get a better result, to get the, get better knowledge, because uh, okay, not 100%, but the, the knowledge and the and the um, and the result is going hand to hand. But that's the thing is like if you challenge yourself to study more, definitely you're gonna have a better result, and you're gonna get more knowledge, and that's very important. So it's 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 what I called the cycle of pride is a success. So I'm passing in the last part of the video. Here I'm gonna put some references, some links to my videos, uh, which will talk more specifically about subjects like anatomy and benefits that you have exam in this semester, in this semester or the next one. So here you can find the video about anatomy, how to study anatomy in Master University. And it's good because I explain here which book to use, which book to buy. And here I have the how to study the last five days for anatomy. And I promise you I'm going to make one video for dissection soon and I'm going to upload it here. Uh, and also have a video how to study biophysics together with a playlist where you can add your own videos. It's like an interactive playlist. You can yourself add videos in that one to help yourself and your friends. So that's all about today. I just want to say that uh, like or dislike the video. Uh, subscribe if you want. You can find me Study Medicine um, Facebook page and you can send me a message of videos that you want already from YouTube. Comment if you want something else or if you want to ask some specific question of what I said. Um, and thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you all uh, to have a good start. Goodbye.